I am so excited. We are finally, finally, finally starting sinking funds. Yeah, I'm actually excited. Yeah, how weird am I? Pretty weird. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, and if you're new to my channel, thanks for stopping by, and if you've been around for a while, you guys are awesome. I love that you are leaving me comments down below, and we're getting to chat. It's so much fun to me. Today, we're going to start talking about the sinking funds that we're starting. I am super, super, super excited to be doing this. These are things that we never did before, and we always thought about cash flowing everything. And now we're finally thinking ahead. Right now, we are starting five sinking funds, five. Actually, when we started considering the concept of sinking funds, I think we had like 10 or 12, but we realized pretty quickly that that was gonna be like $800 every month that we were saving. And in baby step two, I'm not willing to do that. I want out of debt and I want out of debt quickly. So I am keeping my sinking funds to minimal expenses that I know we're going to have. So I want to go over with you those five sinking funds that we opted to select. The first one is medical. So for the medical, it's going to be a base of $750, which is our deductible. And Paying that deductible every year just hurts a lot. And I know I'm gonna to have to pay it pretty soon when I have my first round of injections, neck injections for 2017. On top of the 750, we will keep $50 in. If we drip, dip below 750, then we'll bump up that $50. But that $50 should cover my neck injections um, because they do happen every three months. If we dip below the 750, then obviously we'll be adding more than $50 every month. Number two, we're going to do a car repair replace fund. I have a 2005. Mauricio's car is a 2013, I think. I don't even know. I don't, I don't know about cars. We don't plan on replacing my car anytime in the near future. It runs very well. We completely replaced the transmission while we were in Mexico. We don't anticipate having to do any major overhauls, but if we do, we're going to be putting $100 a month into the repair replace fund. And if we don't need it, then when we're out of baby step two, we're going to go ahead and start saving for a car for me, a new to me car, obviously, you know, pay for cash for that. So now is a good time as any because car expenses can be scary when they happen. Number three, we're going to save for an emergency trip to Columbia. This is not an every year sort of trip. We have pretty much decided that we probably won't be going back in 2017. We usually like to go back every year, but we really would like to hit the debt hard. So we'll probably wait until 2018 to go back and visit again. Mauricio's grandmother is quite old. And if something, God forbid, were to happen to her, Mauricio wants to go back for that to support his mother or father, depending on which grandmother it is. They're both the same age, but they, they are in their 80s. So being prepared for a potential last minute trip back to Columbia is something that we really need to do. We will be putting $50 a month into that and cap it out around $2,500 because if we bought a ticket tomorrow to go down to Columbia, it'd probably be right around $2,000. It's a morbid discussion, I realize, but it's, it's something that we feel is very important to our family. And so it's, it's the fiscally responsible thing to do. Now, Number four is a sinking fund of $500 maximum. It is for last minute expenses for Melina. Her school, we have just randomly get smacked with random last minute expenses that we're never aware of. And I will be so happy when we are out of this school and into public school. But for now, we'll contribute about $25 to that. And then we'll probably continue it on through elementary school because I know in schools, there are always last minute expenses that we need to have money for. And having cash easily available is the smart thing to do. And then last but not least, if you hung around for Christmas last year, it was a debacle. I had a financial screw up that to this day I I don't know what I did I legitimately still I thought I did everything right it went bad it went south I don't want that to ever happen again 
So we are starting a Christmas sinking fund. And what we wanted to do $250 a month because that would cover all of our Christmas gifts, we decided that was a little bit too much. So we are going to set it at 100 and if we have a lean Christmas this year, that's fine. So I bet you're wondering, how I'm setting these up. We're opening a Capital One 360 account. I actually went to my friend Kelly, who's Freedom in a Budget, and I used her link and signed up. So she got a nice little kickback. I'm gonna put a link down below for you guys if you wanna sign up. Uh, go ahead and click that link and it'll take you right over there. I fortunately, when I signed up for her account, I was able to transfer $200 into it. I got a bonus of $25 added to that savings account. It's free money, so absolutely, I'm gonna spread that across all my Capital One accounts and get them all started. And um, then I've already set it up to be auto-drafted out of my bank account. From what I understand, if I need to transfer money from Capital One to 360 to my current bank, if I am charged any fees, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. But here's hoping we don't actually have to use the sinking funds for a while. I'd like them to build up a little bit. I feel like sinking funds are, are really the first step in us being adults. So I'm super, super excited about it. So have you started sinking funds? Don't feel bad if you haven't. If you have just started the plan, don't even stress about sinking funds just yet. Um, get to budgeting, learn how to budget, and then we'll talk sinking funds. Come back and watch this video after you've been budgeting for several months. If you like the video, click the thumbs up button and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!